A new political party has entered the 2024 race. No Labels is a state-recognized party just like the Republican and Democrat Party. In Maricopa County, there are more than 10,000 people now who have registered as No Labels, and it could impact the 2024 presidential race. Fox 10's Nicole Garcia joins us now to explain. Nicole? Well, so far, the No Labels Party has gained ballot access in a dozen states, including right here in Arizona. So the party's still searching for a presidential candidate, but it's already drawing voters away from both the Democrats and the Republicans. What they're appealing to is there is a general sense of disapproval of both parties if you, both parties are in the tank. And that's where the new party enters the race. The No Labels co-chair says they're the party for middle grounders. There's a growing uh, effort, not only in Arizona, but across the United States, where people want uh, not only more choices, but better choices. We are Democrats, Republicans, and independents. And we're talking about having a unit to take it, which is different from, we're not running a protest candidate. According to the Maricopa County Recorder's Office, since the No Labels Party gained recognition earlier this year, they've gained more than 10,000 registrants. A recent poll taken in July shows the new party's demographics. The support levels, uh, when we tested it, it was kind of a surprise. It was independents. Hispanic Latinos, uh, younger voters, 18 to 54 year olds, and then non-white, non-Hispanic voters, so African American, Asian, Pacific Islanders, et cetera. So kind of all the groups in the middle uh, that aren't kind of with that traditional uh, Republican or Democratic theme. While it's gaining popularity, the No Labels Party candidate not likely to win the presidential race. This is like a newborn baby, like a, like two weeks old going against, like, uh, I don't know, a 55-year-old in their earnings prime. So far, no labels make up about 1% of the 2.5 million registered voters in Maricopa County, just enough to possibly tip a very close election. No third-party person is going to get more than a couple of percent. But if somebody runs and they get as little as 1%, but it all comes out of one party, that is a very, very big deal. Now, elections officials, they want to emphasize that those who register as no labels are registering for a political party as opposed to registering as no party designated, which most people refer to as independent. Reporting live in Phoenix, I'm Nicole Garcia, Fox 10 News.